now i will explain how to repair desktop motherboard step by step before we are going to this lesson first you should download that circuit after we will get more knowledge without circuit we cannot identify any components so first we will download this circuit type here in in google search intel 845 crb and you will go search see here some circuits is there uh, 865 and 860 845 see here this is 865 you will download from here this is three phase circuit if you want two phase all this is two phase i will explain what is the phase you download from here and if you want 845 see here 845 you download from here 845 this is atx power supply when you connect smps to atx power supply this pins uh, total pins 20 pins connector this one some motherboards have 24 pins every when you connect smps to atx power connector this only two pins have voltages that is pin number 9 and 14 this is standby 5 volt supply this is ninth pin this is standby 5 volts dc this voltage goes to ich the through ich wants 3.3 volts but here 5 volts come out from atx power supply so this voltage comes to 3.3 volts regulator and that voltage goes to ich and sio chip that voltage come out from ich to power switch this is power connector front panel power switch connector pin number 6 and 8 when you press power button this slp s3 three volts come out from ich no voltage at this point you should check rtc battery that means uh, cmos battery and 32.768 kilohertz crystal 32.768 kilohertz crystal that three volts slp s3 volts comes to here this voltage converted into 3 volts to 0 volts this voltage comes to pin number 14 green wire to atx power supply when this voltage comes to here all voltages come out from atx power supply so we will see first step atx power supply pin number 9 this voltage uh, every ich chip have 3.3 volt suspend voltage are stand by voltage first without pressing power button this voltage comes to here this voltage 5 volts this uh, regulated through regulator 3.3 volts regulator this voltage comes to 3.3 volts regulator and that voltage goes to ich the voltage goes to power switch power on off switch in front panel connector we will see this line atx power supply to here see this is circuit power connector page number 51 we will see page number 51 this is page number 1 this is page number 1 so we will see page number 51 power connector atx power connector this is atx power connector pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 8 10 this is 11 to 20 pins without pressing power button this connector two pins have voltage 5 volts that is pin number 9 and 14 pin number 9 this is standby voltage and pin number 14 this voltage when you press power button this voltage goes to zero this 14th pin voltage goes to zero that is green wire pin we will see in circuit see here this is pin number 1 this is 
this is 11 this is 20 pin number 1 10 we will see here pin number 9 and 11 12 13 14 this one pin number 9 and 14 have 5 volt supply this voltage goes to this voltage goes to 5 volts and 3.3 volts regulator IC we will see in circuit pin number 1 no voltage pin number 2 no voltage pin number 3 no voltage pin number 4 5 6 no voltage 7 8 pin number 9 see here pin number 9 5.5 5 volts pin number 9 this is standby voltage pin number 9 this pin have voltage pin number 10 no voltage we will see pin number 14 see here 14 have 4.9 volts 4.9 volts no, 4.8 that means 5 volt supply when you press power button this voltage goes to 0 any desktop motherboard ATX power supply pin number 9 have without pressing power button 5 volts but ICH wants 3.3 volts so this voltage 5.5 5 volts 5 volts 5, 5 volts standby voltage this voltage goes to 3.3 volts that voltage goes to ICH we will see how to see that one we will see page number one where is 3.3 volts this is page number one see here voltage regulator 1.8 volts standby 3.3 volts standby 1.8 volts and 3.3 volts standby voltage page number 54 we will see page number 54 this is page number 54 see here u8 g1 ic this is 3.3 volts and 1.8 volts regulator ic when we will give 5 volts to pin number 6 this output will come out from pin number 8 and 4 1.8 volts come out from pin number 8 3.3 volts come out from pin number 4 see here u1 ic number 8 g component location that means see here e f g h i j here 7 8 9 10 11 8 g that means 8 here 8 this is g from here to here g g this is g 11 this is 11 this is g 10 this is g 9 this is G8 that means this this is IC this IC U8 G1 we will see here this one this IC U8 G1 U8 G1 U8 G1 this is pin number 1 this dot is pin number 1 pin number 1 2 3 4 6 this is input pin when you give voltage to this pin this pin number 8 output 1.8 volts this pin number 4 pin number 1 2 3 4 this output 3.3 volts this voltage come out from this is 3.3 volts this voltage goes to ICH chip this voltage goes to this ICH chip this is ICH now we will see this U8 G1 U8 G1 IC voltages pin number 1 this is pin number 6 5 volts pin number 6 5 volts is ok 5 volts this is pin number 8 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 pin number 8 pin number 8 1.8 volts we will see pin number 8 1.8 volts stand by 1.8 volts this one we will see now pin number 4 pin number 4 see pin number 4 3.3 volts this is 3.3 volts this is 3.3 volts pin number 4 this is standby 3.3 volts now this voltage goes to 
this voltage goes to ICH the 3.3 volts goes to ICH this voltage goes to power connector from this ICH this voltage goes to power connector front panel power switch this is front panel power switch pin number 6 see here 3.3 .3 volts is there or not so 3.3 .3 volts 3 volts is ok so this circuit is ok first you should check at power button front panel power button pin number 6 3 volts is there or not no voltage at that point you should check this points and this IC this IC now I will remove this IC we will see what happened now I will remove this IC now I will remove this IC see here no IC is there we will see voltages pin number 1 2 3 4 pin number 6 pin number 6 pin number 6 we will see pin number 6 5 volts that is ok that is ok pin number 6 voltage 5 volts is ok but no output voltages there is no IC no output voltages so we will see no output voltages because no um, no IC is there no input voltage to ICH we will check at power button see here pin number 6 no voltage no voltage at this point so no voltage at that point you should check 3.3 .3 volt standby IC in latest motherboards this IC have SIO chip inside of the SIO chip so you will change SIO chip there is no voltage at power button and in some sets 3 pin standby 3.3 .3 volts regulator IC will come in some sets we will see in that IC I will explain in some boards after this this 3.3 uh, .3 volts goes to see here 3P3 standby this voltage goes to ICH all these supplies this voltage goes to all these pages we will see in ICH page this is ICH this voltage goes to standby voltage 3P39 that means 3.3 .3 volts standby voltage this voltage goes to ICH this voltage goes to ICH from this IC this voltage goes to power button this is page number 1 see here front panel header page number 48 we will see page number 48 this is front panel connector J9H1 see here J9H1 J9H1 total 16 pins this no pin 10 and pin number 14 no pins here see here this one and this one no pins here pin number 1 2 this is 2 this is dot pin number 1 2 see here 15 16 this is 15 16 6 and 8 power button 8 pin ground 6 power button pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is 6th pin this is 8th 8th pin ground we will see pin number 6th this voltage goes to uh, CP 9H1 this voltage CP 9H1 from this place to this voltage goes to this voltage goes to page number 17 see page number 17 that means this ICH IC this voltage goes to this ICH this is ICH chip this is ICH this is power button this voltage comes from switch on 48 page that voltage comes to switch on pin number uh, W21 power button this is ICH this voltage comes from here when you press power button this voltage go goes to ground 6th pin voltage goes to ground that voltage that means this voltage goes to ground without pressing power button this voltage 3 volts after pressing power button this voltage goes to 0 when you press power button at that time this voltage goes to 
zero volts when you remove power button this voltage goes to 3 volts when this voltage goes to 3 volts slp s3 release from this ic no voltage at that point you should check clock generator y7h1 this clock generator and cmos battery no slp s3 voltage you should check this 32.768 kilohertz crystal this is 32.768 kilohertz crystal see here y7h1 y7h1 32.768 kilohertz this is 32.768 kilohertz crystal and you also check this cmos battery uh, already removed this battery you first you remove this battery when this if it if it is short uh, set will dead slp s3 3.3 volts will not present 3.3 volts will not present at ich this voltage goes to super glue chip slp s3 voltage see here slp s3 this voltage goes to page number 45 we will see page number 45 this is glue chip u8 j1 this is glue chip u8 j1 this is dot you should check pin number pin number 1 here you should check uh, you should count pin numbers from here pin number 1 2 3 4 just like this one this is ich this voltage slp s3 goes to this ic pin number 22 see here slp s3 pin number 22 there is no uh, pin to check here so you will see slp s3 voltage at pin number 22 of this ic 3 volts is present here this chip is okay no voltage at this point you should check this crystal and um, cmos battery when this 22 pin ha how after pressing power button 3.3 volts this chip is okay this is glue chip this is pin number 22 without this is slps without pressing power button this voltage zero after pressing power button this voltage goes to 3 volts this ps on this voltage pin number 23 5 volts after pressing power button this voltage goes to zero this voltage goes to pin number 14 of atx power supply when you will press power button that pin goes to that means atx power supply pin number atx power connector pin number 14 goes to zero so we will see here pin number 22 when we press power button this voltage goes to 3 without pressing power button zero this voltage 5 volts see here pin number 22 0 volts pin number 23 pin number 23 5 volts pin number 22 0 volts pin number 22 0 volts we will press power button see here after pressing 3.3 volts will come slp s3 see here this voltage goes to zero but this voltage will not goes to zero here what happened we will see 3.3 volts is okay at pin number 22 but this voltage goes to zero but we uh, the, this is this voltage will not goes to see here no cpu here no cpu here no cpu here see here this is cpu present pin number 21 without cpu this voltage goes to high when you insert cpu this voltage goes to zero after this voltage come out from zero volts come out from 23 we will see cpu present that means cpu missing we will see pin number 21 we will see pin number 21 see here pin number 21 2.9 volts when we insert cpu here this voltage goes to zero this pin number 21 this pin number 21 goes to zero see here this voltage goes to zero this voltage goes to zero see here this voltage also goes to zero pin number 23 this voltage also goes to zero 
now set is on pin number 23 and 22 3.3 volts see here fan is running all voltage will come out from ATX power supply now see here this is 12 volts point we will see 12 volts is work or not 11.6 12 volts is ok this is 5 volts we will see 5 volts 5 volts is ok we will see 3.3 volts 3.3 volts that voltage is also ok now power supply is ok 